Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey. What it do? How you doing? TV. It's a TV without a difference. It's a TV about the facts. The what? The tea. The tea and the facts. Yeah. A TV about the tea. It's Auntie Fee about the tea. Tea and the facts. So listen. Blackwood News popped up about mm, 15, 20 minutes ago. There is, he said it's Savage Saturday it's a shooting. And Frazier, they done shot and killed the beauty supply man. Let's check it out. TV about the tea and facts. Shout out to Blackwood News. He said they on Watkins. No Frazier. Let's check it out. Yeah, hit the like button. Please. He lied. He said, and we lied. Well, he ain't said it yet, but you know what I mean. Man, we live. We in the bay, man. Well, he ain't got no energy. No, we ain't walking. Yeah, she filling them in. Check out the notes. Comments I made. Something always going on. Absolutely, Zarek. What's this truck over there, though? Mm -hmm. Royal Blue, Royal Beauty. We in Fraser on Watkins. Miss Memphis is very depressing right now. It's always something. 
I fear for my subscribers' life and safety. Good afternoon, man. They shot and killed the owner of this beauty supply store and the Mississippi family. They're out here sad and mad, so messed up. Just getting sadder oh, every God. day. I agree. This is the family, man. Condolences to the family. Man, that's messed up. Black Renew. They shot and killed the owner of this beauty supply store, man. And that's the family right there. Black Renew News, man. It's Savvy Saturday. Damn. We I apologize for my we notification. The They're trying to get in contact with me. Oh, we're in the I guess something else is going on. That's the family in them right there, man. It's sad. Y'all know who be owning these beauty supply stores in there. Yeah, them. They out here. Black with news. Can y'all hit the like button for me, please? I would greatly appreciate it. At that next two wing basket. Can y'all hit the like button for like the last two or three? Preferably three. I think he talking to the witnesses. Come on, man. We're live. I'm out here talking to the people, man. They're saying sad, bro. They get killed the owner. They still putting up. This is sad, man. Damn, bro. These young niggas wild, bro. Look. These people steady putting up, man. They so mad, y'all. Look. Man, bro. I would be mad too. Wasn't even on that. Everybody around her, he's been here for years. Come on, man. Cause God damn, bro. God damn, man. Oh no. With it, we in the bay, man. We in the bay with it. It's crazy. Y'all see where we? They done killed the owner of this beauty supply store right here on Watkins. I use it, bro. Is he going off on his subscribers? <laughs> his, his whole tone sound off when he signed on. When he not feeling good, he may need to chill a little bit. Yes. They shot and killed the owner of this beer supply store. And no, y'all know who be running these. I think. It's the A-Rap, yeah. It's Savage Saturday. This is messed up, man. They shot the owner. If you are just joining, the owner of this place has been shot and killed. We have the beauty supply store. Are you in the road? All right. All right. The 
owner of this beauty supply store has been shot and killed. Attempted robbery, y'all. Let me see what else done happened overnight. Bad. It's sad, man. It's so messed up. Muhammad, oh, he said. Man. He said that. Y'all know his name? He said that forensics just left. They said they know his name, man. God. Damn. Why the drama? All I'll the dramatics. Hey, rap community. Come on, oh, Muhammad. Oh, Attempted damn. Robbery. Oh, oh. Well, this is overnight right here. Yes, they tried to rob him. Attempted robbery going bad. Put in the camera. How much money is it? Sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's just a hit. They took this man life, and right? they take the money. We it's don't know. Mad. But he said right a while now, ago I, I wasn't recording it. He said sometimes it's about the drop, so Damn, you know, uh the fighting back part. I don't know, but at this point I don't know what nobody is involved in. Uh I'm not, not putting enough, nothing man. on no, nobody's not. back, but everybody know this early in the morning. Money, bro. Just robbing anybody, bro. Ain't nobody got no money. They ain't make that much. Them folks ain't got all right, that not money enough like money. That. They said his body is still in his shop. Black one I used to live in the public behind this. He was definitely a nice guy. Condolences to his family. I pray he was at peace with God. As everybody. Oh, uh, y'all see how yeah, he doing. Uh, he said it's Sabbath Saturday on Watkins. Yeah, it's Sabbath Saturday, man. But we finna get it. I was not. That folks getting little ass money, bro. He folks just robbing anybody, bro. Them folks ain't got all that money in there like that. So he was in this truck. He wasn't in the beauty supply house. He was in there, this black truck. He got shot up at the truck. I think this was from yesterday. When they had that house uh, with Swatter. I think they said they ramsacked the wrong house and the man wasn't in it. Yeah, that's what it's saying. William Dukes believes a, mis a mistaken identity. they crazy so now in germantown this is how bad it's getting they burn it down it's an arson in germantown people's businesses are, are being set on fire who owns the business is it got to be retaliation or or a insurance uh, job But it's more than one. Said that two fires were set in or near two businesses last weekend, while two were targeted earlier this month. So it's it's a targeted hit. It's Savage Saturday. South Memphis six hours ago. I just couldn't live here. Now they're saying Tennessee law states air conditioning not a right for for renters. So they don't have the right to have air conditioning if you're renting 
uh, somebody's apartment or house. Is, is that what it's saying? But they want to go off on the taxes. Yeah, the young man, the lively boy, lively. He said, my son is not a saint, but he wasn't on a suicide mission either. He had plenty of sins. He said, what y'all accused him of, just show me. I can't argue with the video. So that's why Nana, you got his family coming up. They wanted to see it, so now they had to change it. Say now nah, it's friendly fire. This is this is a day or so ago. He want to see the video. Six cars ramsacked at the break in Memphis fire. They, they looking for guns at the fire department? When is the, uh, what is it called? Hell, I've been asking for it for so long, I don't remember what it's called no more. National Guard. Where they at? Seven minutes ago. Ooh. Lorraine Road. This uh, was a shooting on Pillar. South Memphis. Oh, this is, oh, okay. This is an orange mile. It's been hot. Savage, savage. They say baby girl's update. She's been found safe. So this is the 17-year-old that they're going to try as an adult and put all of these the officers that was injured attempted murder for them and murder for this guy so now they don't drug up is that the officer shooting up their 17 year old suspect father serving life sentence in print so now they digging up everything okay so they finna try Double wrong. His last name is Taylor. Taylor. Oh, uh, Joshua Taylor. I kept thinking who was Taylor. <coughs> <coughs> who is Taylor? Who is Taylor? Who is that? Okay. Okay. Let me park that. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. mm, that's interesting. So they finna, he's going to be charged with the officer's murder and his friend, uh, Jalen. He's going to get hit with his murder too. Plus attempted on those other officers. Or those eight or nine. And they saying his dad had been locked. He got life. So who is his dad? Interesting. Oh, this is old. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is old. So hold on. Hold on. So is this his daddy? 
felony murder was dismissed to aggravate robbery. So this is his daddy. Because it's the same name. And he ain't but 17. Oh, wow. Life imprisonment. So this is the daddy. So this was the first 48. I see Tony Mullins' name in there. Yeah, I know I'm looking for names, last names. I do know that, right? I'm scanning for last names. Y'all hit the like button for Auntie Fee. I definitely wasn't planning on doing this. Definitely wasn't. I was trying to find a picture of the guy because somebody said he looked old. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. So this is the father who was 17 years old when he got a life sentence without parole. Is that what they say? So how old was his son? First degree. The first degree murder carries. So he has to be in there 51 years to life before he's eligible for parole. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Okay, so this is deep. So who was his daddy tied to? Let's stop right there. So in 2008, he was transferred from juvenile and tried as an adult. Before I go any further, long live Dolph, justice for Dolph. Shout out to uh, Coria, Snoop, Doggy Dog, Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, shout out to all of them. Long live the justice for Dolph. Hey, so you see what I'm saying? Tell them that you want the best. Young, let's get high. Let's get high. I hit the blood now. I believe that I can fly. Yeah, come say it's so. Come and shoot you some crap. Boy, Illuminati. Secret society. Come around here. Don't
Well, Joe, that 17-year-old is named Devron Taylor, and he is still recovering here at Regional 1 since last Friday's incident. Now, after a lot of running around I did today, I was able to obtain his juvenile record right here, which shows that he committed crime before last Friday's incident. Now, according to these court records, he, Taylor was previously charged with three counts of aggravated robbery in November 2022. Taylor admitted to robbing three people on November 2nd, 2022, and was placed in the custody next day. In March 2023, he pleaded no contest and took a plea deal in March 2023 for an indeterminate sentence and placed in corrective custody of the Department of Children. Y'all already know what, how I'm thinking, right? If he it could possibly be related to uh, CEO TZ, Joshua Taylor. I'm not saying that he is. I haven't dug that deep off into it, but there's a possibility. So how he gets in and out of jail back then would have been kind of similar to how CEO TZ was getting in and out of getting in and out. 2022 Taylor admitted to robbing three people on November 2nd 2022 and was placed in the custody next day in March 2023 he pleaded no contest and took a plea deal in March now he from the mound y'all indeterminate sentence and placed in correct yeah I already know where I'm the going Department of Children's Services meaning the decision of his yeah hit the light button up to DCS to determine and based on Taylor's plea deal, it required him to agree and to need 2023 for an indeterminate sentence and place in corrective custody of the Department of Children's Services, meaning the decision of his release was up to DCS to determine. And based on Taylor's plea deal, it required him to agree and to need for treatment and rehabilitation. Now, Taylor also pled guilty to four other charges, but those charges were redacted from that report that I got. But coming up next on Why? Action News 5 at 6, I'll be digging oh, deeper he's the minor. into his plea and I'll uh, bring you more information. But for now, reporting live from the medical district, I'm... Interesting, huh? I was waiting to hear the name. See who he was tied to or related to. Or possibly related to. Which would make sense as to why when they said both of them been let out, you know. All I know is it was Joshua Taylor who had me focus in on how they was getting arrested and released, arrested and released. And here's a possibility. Yeah, it's just all kind of full circle. Again, it never fails. Get the light button, please. I'll be back. Now, according to these court records, Taylor was previously charged with three counts of aggravated robbery in November 2022. Taylor admitted to robbing three people on November 2nd, 2022, and was placed in custody next day. In March 2023, he pleaded no contest and took a plea deal in March 2023 for an indeterminate sentence and placed in corrective custody of Did he get rehabilitation treatment? No. So somebody dropped the ball again. Into his 